The Senate now wants Petroleum Cabinet Secretary John Munoz and his energy counterpart Charles Kitter sacked over the recent fuel price hike. Senators who were angered by the two cabinet secretaries for skipping their summonses yesterday are now demanding for an in-depth audit of the petroleum levy. Our very own Stephen Leto has the details. The Senate shelved its entire afternoon business to dwell on a censure motion tabled by CIA Senator James Orenga that put Petroleum Cabinet Secretary John Munez and his energy counterpart Charles Keter on the spot. Act senators questioned why the two cabinet secretaries snubbed Parliament despite having received the summons in good time. But they cannot bring their pride and arrogance to this House. We will deal with them. We will not entertain that kind of rudeness, that kind of indecency. We have an economy and a country that is being run like a juakali. How do you explain that a nation has never had a cabinet meeting for eight months? What kind of a country is that? Why is the president so silent? The president should come out so loudly and save Kenyans. He is aware of it and he is quiet in the state house when people are suffering. The senators questioned why money is meant to stabilize the fuel prices that runs into billions of shillings was not extended to EPRA as required. I have it on farm authority that petroleum development levy for the last 10 months alone is Kenya shillings 35 billion Kenya shillings, Mr. Speaker. But that money for the last two months has not been released to EPRA for them to stabilize the price of petrol as was the true intention when we passed that legislation, Mr. Speaker. There needs to be a thorough audit of that petroleum development levy. Madam Speaker, I suspect, and the people I've spoken to, there is a hole in that levy. There is money that is not accounted for. Because by now, they should be able to come and tell our committee how much has been collected since its introduction. We should not be here if we cannot be able to defend the people who are on the ground. So for these two fugitives of accountability, Article 226, subsection 4 of Kenya will go after you. The lawmaker has called on the head of state to suck the two CSs. This bug stops at the desk of the President of the Republic of Kenya. If your employee behaves like this, you deal with them. We are calling upon the President to respond to the people of Kenya because his cabinet secretaries have failed in their duties. Our leadership has failed. There is nothing to hide. We will say it. The two ministers have displayed a high sense of impunity. And this impunity, we see it all over this country. It is not only with the ministers, because the ministers will learn from, their, well, from what you see, what your seniors do. If your seniors are abusing each other in the streets, what will the minister be doing? Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter had yesterday distanced himself from the increase in fuel prices, arguing that fuel matters fall squarely under the petroleum and mining docket spearheaded by John Munez. The senators questioned why Munez traveled abroad after effecting the new price changes, which has driven the price of fuel to an all-time high. Carry your cross! Handshake government must be accountable to the people of Kenya for the things they did for the last four years. For now, Kenyans continue to feel the pain as the back and forth continues. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.